Casual games exist for the sole reason of killing time. These relatively challenging games leave you with a sense of accomplishment and triumph for finally beating that level. Looking at you, Candy Crush. And most of all, they're just fun to mess around with. These are 10 of the best casual, sometimes addictive, games that are available for both Android and iOS. Number 10, Mini Metro. Mini Metro is an ever-moving strategy game. It has you designing a subway network for a city whose population keeps increasing. It's your job to build tracks and lines to connect stations and get your trains running. Three modes exist, so the game is perfect for any mood. A normal mode puts a maximum capacity for passengers boarding the trains. And if the stations grow too crowded, you lose a level. In each game week, you get a new train to keep things going. An endless game mode has no ultimate capacity for passengers and thus no consequences. The latest mode is the creative, which has almost no limit for how many train cars, carriages, and tunnels you can build and design. With 20 cities based on real life, you'll never grow bored, especially if you're a fan of city planning games. There are content updates and daily challenges to keep things interesting. The city's movements keeps you readjusting your design for maximum efficiency. Plus, you get to design your metro as you like. Number 9, Battle Cats. Battle Cats is one of the weirdest, most fun, and wonderful games. There's almost nothing complicated about it. Simply build your cat army and march across the world for your attempt at global domination. Fight other villainous cats with your cat cannon, choose the right cat squad for missions, and pick the one you want to fight with. If you're a cat lover, this is perfect. It's a defense and strategic based concept, but it's not too difficult to play and enjoy at a leisurely pace. As you play more and progress, unlocking new cat characters and collecting treasures, the game will get more difficult but not unreasonably so. The Battle Cats is free and requires an internet connection, but there are optional in-game purchases. Sometimes you'll have to go back to previous levels to gain experience, but it's all in the good name of ultimate cat domination. Number 8, Fruit Ninja. An eternally entertaining game is a billion times downloaded old timer Fruit Ninja. The utter destruction and mess you can create by slicing through randomly thrown fruits never fails to satisfy the crowds. And that halting moment when you accidentally slice through a bomb instead that made you lose all your hard earned progress is still painful. If the thrill and fast paced rush of classic and 60 seconds arcade mode gets too stressful, there is a lovely zen mode that makes for peaceful pastime with endless root chopping. An event mode is there for more experienced ninjas and allows you to win new swords that can be used in other modes. Achieve a high score and rub that score in your friends faces through the leaderboard or directly compete with them in multiplayer matches. Through daily challenges, content updates and frankly a killer concept, Fruit Ninja is one of the best casual games out there. Number 7, Smash Hit. Smash Hit is one of those endlessly entertaining games. Its age and its continued success are proof of its ability to keep people's attention. It's a runner game with the extra perk of the utter destruction you can bestow upon everything you like. It almost seems like a shame to smash the beautiful in-game objects. The overall objective of the game is to run through obstacles while also smashing things. You start with an inventory of 25 metal balls, which you get to just hurl at objects. If you finish checking away your balls, the game ends and you have to restart. But you can gain more by our favorite activity, hitting and smashing. Smashing crystals earns you more ammo and power-ups leave you with an endless supply. It's set in a futuristic dimension with over 50 rooms and 11 styles in every level. The music that plays along is also worthy of praise as it sets the mood and goes along with the aesthetics of the game. Number 6, Words with Friends 2. A sequel that's just as good or better than its predecessor. Words with Friends 2 is easier to navigate, has a new plethora of puzzles and challenges, and a whole new design. The fonts are bigger, the colors are brighter, and the game has a sleek, modern look that doesn't feel cluttered. The puzzles and word challenges are fun and challenging. The best thing about Words with Friends is of course the friends bit. Play with up to 5 of your friends and family and compete against them in the new lightning round by achieving a high score in the crossword style puzzle. Or use smart match for the game to find you a perfect fit opponent. There's also solo challenge that makes you compete against bots with different levels of difficulties, and each player only has 5 moves unlike the original versions 18, which makes it all the more challenging. Words with Friends 2 is the perfect game to play in a waiting room or to pass the time to keep yourself entertained while bonding with your friends. Number 5, Alto's Odyssey. Alto's Odyssey is a sequel to the wildly popular indie darling game known as Alto's Adventure. The new and improved Odyssey brings forth more stunning landscapes, better graphics, new and challenging objectives, and a charming soundtrack that sets the mood and vibe for the game. 
Usually, Endless Runner games feel either like a ripoff from older games like Temple Run, or they feel pointless after a few days of playing. That is absolutely not the case with Alto's Odyssey. It hooks you in with its breathtaking locations like gorgeous deserts with magical looking skies and sunsets. It's not rare that you'll get to witness shooting stars, rainstorms, wind vortexes, and stuff like that. Instead of Alto's Adventure, where it takes you through a snowy landscape, the Odyssey's theme is just as, if not more, enchanting with mystical spots. It invites you to run through ruins, canyons, and temples as you advance in the game and your character speeds up. Before you earn money or complete the challenges to unlock new characters, your default character is the same Alto from Alto's Adventure. Each character has its unique abilities and faults, so you'll have to pick your favorite. If you're not a fan of the hustle and bustle of earning coins and performing challenges, there's a zen mode that takes all that away and leaves you with a smooth run with just you and the endless serenity of the desert. Number 4, Two Dots Who are Amelia and Jekis? Well, they're two dots who travel the world, and they have the admiration of millions in the form of over 10 million downloads. All you have to do is connect two or any similarly colored dots together in order to clear them from the screen. Make a square or line to connect all similarly colored dots. The goal is to make a high score and repeatedly try to crush it. You get 5 daily lives, and as long as you keep winning levels, you're all good. But if you lose, a 20 minute waiting period is necessary. The game is goal oriented, so to pass the next level, you have to do things like clearing a specific number of colored dots or clearing obstacles. Two Dots is divided into different worlds, each with unique welcoming cards, illustrations, and themes like frozen tundras, jungles, and oceans. A simple, easy game like Two Dots shouldn't be this addictive, but it is. It's a colorful world with pretty cool looking illustrations and an ever changing soundtrack to accompany it. Number 3, Gulf Peaks. Golf Peaks is a brilliant game and can keep you entertained for hours on end. Climb mountains by playing golf is one of its taglines. It's like golf or miniature golf to be exact, but it's puzzle based. You have specific cards and limited moves. The card tells you how many squares the ball will cross and whether it will travel across the ground or fly through the air. There are four directions you can send the ball in. It all comes together when the ball moves through the direction you've chosen, following the space allocated by the card. The ball will either stop when it reaches its square quota or will come to an abrupt halt from an obstacle or hazard like walls, slopes, and sand dunes. Gulf Peaks is in fact an award winning game, having been nominated for several awards including the title of the best casual game of Google Play in 2019. Number 2, Angry Birds 2. We all remember when Angry Birds first came out and took the world by storm. There's even an Angry Birds movies franchise and a ton of merch. It's a perfect shallow game to waste a few minutes on or to simply pass the time. Angry Birds 2 is the improved version of the original. It has hundreds of new levels, better graphics, and challenging bosses to defeat. In the newer version, you can compete against your friends, but only after you reach level 25. There's nothing like that satisfied feeling you get when you release your slingshot, and the triumph only gets better when you destroy your enemies. You can even cast spells. You can rain torrents of yellow ducks on the evil piggies. Convert the blocks into ice and bomb your enemies. Once you first start, you have the option of choosing your birds in whatever order you want. Each stage has a multitude of levels in it. The best part? The iconic red bird that's the protagonist now has abilities. It can send shockwaves that blast everything around it. And the new silver legend bird is now featured that faithfully extra smashes everything in its path when you slingshot it. Number 1, Candy Crush Saga. And of course, the king of all casual games is the Candy Crush Saga. The number trillion is what they use to describe their almost unlimited levels, and the game frequently updates with new perks. Candy Crush doesn't really need much explanation or introduction, its concept is to match and connect similarly colored candies to gain points. You get special bonuses and effects if you match a large row or column. Levels have different objectives and difficulty levels. Some only allow you limited moves or make you play for a specific goal on a time limit. And some have challenges that slow you down like the infuriating chocolate that covers the candy and grows with each movement unless you stop it. Be warned, Candy Crush is addictive, but it's also sweet enough that you don't mind. Alrighty gamers, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you made it through to the end, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell while you're at it because we are constantly releasing new content. We'll see you in the next video.